Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 really quick, easy tips that will help you make better use of your Dyson Air app. Now, whether you've owned your Dyson Air app for two years or two days, because I know that Christmas has just been and gone and a lot of you added to your Christmas wish list, you are definitely going to find at least one, if not many more of these tips really useful. So let's get started. So the first tip is to make sure your hair is a little bit damp whenever you're using the Dyson Air app. The best time to style your hair with the Dyson Air app is whenever you get out of the shower and you've washed your hair and you wanna make sure that your hair is about 70 to 90% dry. Now everyone is going to find what works best for them. So just experiment. So it all depends on what attachment you're using and what style you're doing. Like for example, if I'm using one of the smoothing brushes, I find that I need my hair drier for that. Whereas whenever I'm using the round brush, I find that I can get away with having my hair a little bit more wet than with the other attachments. So just experiment and find out what works best for you. If you're also wanting to use the Dyson Air Wrap after a few days of washing your hair, you just wanna dampen your hair really quickly. I literally just use an empty heat defense box that I had and I just fill it up with water and anytime I want to just top my hair up if it's like two three four five days into not having washed my hair and I want to restyle it I will just spray some water on my hair and just restyle it using whatever attachment I am using having your hair damp is just gonna make the hair set better and it's just gonna make it last a little bit longer so tip number two you want to make sure you section your hair I feel like I've seen a lot of people use their air up where they just have their their hair all down and they try and just style their hair without sectioning it. The smaller sections you take when using any attachment, the better results you are going to get. But again, that is just something that you just need to figure out with your hair. Obviously, if you have very thin hair, you're not gonna need to section your hair as much. Whereas if you have lots of thick hair like me, you will definitely need to spend more time sectioning it and take smaller pieces. Also, a tip within this tip, Whenever you're sectioning the hair and styling your hair with the air wrap, it's sometimes quite hard because you're using something that's essentially a hair dryer and it's constantly blowing out air, it's very easy to get the hair that you've already styled tangled up in the air wrap. So what you need to do is you need to work your way from the back forward. In all the videos that I share, I start at the front and then work my way back. That is purely because it's a lot easier for me to show you what I'm doing by styling the front bits first rather than styling the back. But whenever I'm doing my hair with the Dyson Air app and I'm not recording a video for you guys, I start at the back and work my way forward. That way, whenever I've styled this piece of hair, I can flick it over my shoulder and do the next piece. I've just found that that works really, really well. So tip number three and is definitely probably the most effective tip that I'm going to share within this video is whenever you're using any attachment you want to create a lot of tension with the hair. I feel like this is something that no one really ever talks about whenever I watch other Dyson tutorials and I feel like it's just super super useful. So no matter what attachment you're using you need to make sure you create a lot of tension in the hair. That's just going to help neaten the style that you're creating. So for example if you're curling your hair with the barrels you want to create tension and that's just going to keep the curl a lot neater. It's also going to help style that hair a lot better. Smoothing brush tutorial that I've uploaded, I think one of the reasons why this is so successful is one of the tips that I share whenever doing that is to create lots of tension in the hair whenever you're using the smoothing brush. That just helps straighten out that hair so much more. It helps get it silkier. It helps get rid of all that frizz. And that is the same with no matter what attachment you're using, make sure you create lots of tension in the hair. So tip number four is whenever you are using the bar so I see a lot of people also talk about how they sometimes have trouble getting their hair latched onto the barrel. I'm going to demonstrate, I'm gonna put one of these barrels on. Whenever I am grabbing a section of hair, if I find that the section of hair isn't latching on, you want to just shake the barrel and you'll find that that helps latch the piece of hair on. If that doesn't work and if you're still having problems with getting your hair to latch onto the barrel, it's probably because your hair is either too wet or too dry. I find that if I have my hair too wet, the hair won't latch on. I find that if I have it too dry, it won't latch on. So you just need to have that correct amount of dampness. And again, you will just figure out yourself how damp and how dry you need your hair. Like I said, 
that as a rule of thumb, I think anywhere between 70 and 90% dry is going to work best. Tip number five, and I feel like this is something that I've really noticed a lot. We're on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, and on Instagram Reels. I see a lot of girls short form videos where they show themselves curling their hair with the barrels. So many people do not turn off their air app whenever they're finished styling that section of hair. For example, you have a piece of hair wrapped around the barrel, you're holding it, you're doing your cold shot, a lot of people just pull the barrel out with the air app still on and then turn it off and the curl kind of goes all quickly all over the place. You want to make sure that you turn your air app off before releasing the curl. Again, that is just going to help that curl stay so much better. It's going to help it stay neater and it's just going to help it last longer. Tip number six is again for the barrels. I feel like I feel like the barrel attachment is probably the most popular within the Dyson Air app. I feel this is the reason why a lot of people get it because they're so excited about these barrels. Personally, the barrels are my least favorite attachment. The round brush is my absolute favorite and I have done a few tutorials on these. I just feel like it's the most versatile attachment in the Air app kit. But like I said, I feel like a lot of people love this attachment, which is why I'm sharing quite a few tips on this one. And one of the biggest things I see so many people talk about with these attachments is they struggle to get their curls to last longer. And this is just two really quick tips within this tip for people who want their curls to last longer for this. First of all, I recommend using the thinner barrels. You get thicker barrels, you get thinner barrels. If you use the thinner barrels, it's just going to help create more defined curls and therefore it's gonna last a lot longer. And the smaller the section of hair you use, the more defined that curl's gonna be and the longer it is going to last. But if you're wanting your curls to look natural, I personally really like the natural curl look like I don't like my curls to look like big ringlets I know a lot of people do I personally don't I like them to look a little bit more like tousled and a little bit more natural so what I tend to do is I switch between both barrels so I'll do a section of hair with a thicker barrel I'll do a section of hair with a thinner barrel and then I'll also rotate the direction of the curls that just helps overall give a lot more natural look when using the curling barrels Tip number seven is again for the curling barrels. You can use these for two different hairstyles. So you can just use these to curl your hair normally. I actually have done a full tutorial to show you how I curl my hair using these barrels and also a few more tips on there on how you can get them to last longer. But you can also use these barrels by turning them upside down, wrapping the hair around and creating beach waves. Also have a tutorial on that that you can go watch. Personally, I absolutely love this look. I'm much prefer the beach waves over the curls again I just feel like it looks a lot more natural I also find that these beach waves last a lot longer but both looks are absolutely worth trying out and it's for seeing what looks you prefer best on your hair so absolutely go watch these tutorials and let me know which of them you prefer doing so tip number eight is actually for the smoothing brushes this quick tip is to actually show you how to use this correctly because I feel like a lot of people do not use this right I feel like a lot of people use this by using it like a hairbrush so they will dry their hair and straighten their hair by doing this like using it like a hairbrush pulling their hair down okay first of all that is not going to get rid of any frizz in your hair second of all it's not going to straighten your hair properly especially if you have hair like me that's curly and frizzy that is not going to straighten your hair at all and thirdly it's just going to dry your hair so it's flat to your head and I don't know about you guys but I love volume in my hair I just feel like it looks so much better I do not like hair that's like stuck flat to my head so what you need to do rather than pulling it down like this you need to please the brush under your hair and dry like this instead there's a lot more little techniques that you can use to get the best results for this and for a more in-depth tutorial I am going to link my straight hair smoothing brush tutorial in the description below it's the only technique that works for me to get my hair looking super smooth silky and straight but until you get around to watching that just really quickly you can just change one thing up rather than using it like this just please it underneath and use it like this okay tip number nine is to not disregard this round brush I feel like so many people underestimate it and just have no love for this round brush when it is honestly like it is my 
favorite attachment in the Dyson Airwrap Kit. So versatile, you can straighten your hair with this, you can curl your hair with this, you can weave your hair with this, you can create so much volume with your hair like this. Experiment with this round brush. But if you're not ready to jump in and create a home style just using this, the one thing that you can use it for, which is without a doubt, the best attachment in the Dyson Airwrap Kit is to get rid of your flyaways. So I don't know about you guys, but I have the type of hair where around like my hairline, I just get these like frizzy, like flyaway bits. Whenever I'm either straightening my hair with the smoothing brush or I am using using the barrels, it's just really, really hard to get those bits looking straight and not frizzy without using the hair straightener. But this brush is so good for that because you can really get in there in around these little frizzy bits so regardless of what attachment i'm using regardless of what style i'm creating with the dyson air app i always use this round brush to go in around my hairline and get those little frizzy weavy flyaway bits like straightened out smooth looking silky so they're not sticking all out of my hair so that is the one way that you can start introducing this into your hairstyles. So that brings us on to the last tip, which is tip number 10, and that is to be patient and experiment. I know that you may seem a little bit robbed of a tip here with this one, but honestly, this is the most valuable tip I can share with you in this video. As the Dyson Airwrap Kit is something that you need to get used to. It's not just something that you get and you straight away know how to use from the get-go. You need to watch YouTube videos, you need to experiment, you need to be patient and once you do all those things like honestly you will get so much out of it and you will love it so many people as commented on my youtube videos saying that since watching them have fell in love with their dyson air app again they just had it in a cover didn't know how to use it felt like it wasn't styling their hair properly but if you watch tutorials on youtube which is such a great place to watch them you can find new ways of styling your hair that will work for you and guys the thing is you may watch my tutorials and you may have hair that is completely different to mine and you might find that the tips that i share don't work for you and that's absolutely fine go find someone on youtube that's got a similar hair type to you you can find tips that are going to help with your hair also just experiment yourself just try new things every time that i wash my hair i try and use a diff different attachment and try something new sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does work sometimes i'm like okay i know this is gonna work but i didn't work out very well this time but I know that next time I know that maybe I'm gonna try this or I'm gonna do this to make sure that my hair's smoother to make sure that my hair's straighter to make sure that my hair's curlier just experiment and also get some product there is a few there's a few go-to products that I use. I use this blow dry cream, which is really good for pre-styling and for volume. Again, always use Heat Defense, even though the Dyson Air App is so good for causing like little damage to your hair because it's got great technology that doesn't damage your hair. Still always use Heat Defense because you are still putting heat on your hair and it's still gonna cause some sort of damage, just very, very minimal. And to finish off every look I create with the Dyson Air App, I always finish off with some oil. So get some really good oil because that is just going to help smooth out that look it's going to help get rid of some of those flyaways and it's just going to help make it look all shiny and beautiful so guys i hope that you enjoyed that video i hope that you can go put these tips to good use and guys comment below and share any tips that you have this is a dyson era community that i've built over here and i absolutely love it anyone watching this make sure you check the comments below because there may be some more tips in here that i haven't shared there is lots more tips that i could have shared with you guys but i just wanted to share some of my favorites if you enjoyed this video let me know and i can make a part two where i share more tips if you enjoyed this make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos make sure you hit subscribe thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time